Hey, folks. Oh, yeah. This guy walked in right as I was uh, saving. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? Oh. Yeah, he kind of just walked in while I was saving the video, folks, so, uh, I'm partly sorry about that. You didn't miss much. I mean, it looks like he's the flower shop owner or something, and, uh, he basically just came in and, yeah, Bruno was his name, I believe. So I'm sorry about that. I didn't expect anything to happen. I thought it was just going to cut off when I walked in here. Let's talk to you again. Hmm, nothing really. Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Interesting. That's not a bad time to save my game. Uh, LP3. So what am I missing, folks? Let's take another look at what I got. Is there anything in that it? Object does not open. That item cannot be read. The photo of most the murder photo has Hmm. Can I use it? There's no reason to wear Alright. That doesn't seem to Ugh. Not quite sure where I'm missing now. Doesn't look like I can scroll the map at all. Oh, wait. There's a greater new... All right. Let's go to Grandma Knight's house. Money, Grandma. How you been, Gran? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. So this is likely our silly. You can call me anytime. opening into the game. We're gonna check out those uh, photos, just like or stuff in the attic. Just like the Phantasmagoria open up the box, that's going to be the big start to all of this, I bet. Let me ask you some questions, Grammy. Talk, Grand. Of course, my boy. How can I help? You probably know what that means. Do you have any idea what Capiti Sonka means? Hmm. Something without something, I think. My French is so rusty. I swear my mind is going. It's okay, thanks. is very southern. Of course, though, not as much as it used to be when I was a girl. It's gotten much more influenced by the East Coast and that California stuff. Still, it hasn't changed as much as other places, I reckon. We've always been happy here. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I'm gonna scare her. Oh, Gabriel, nothing. And I don't want to. I sometimes wonder what this world is coming to. Hmm. You always were interested in monster movies and all that other weird stuff. You get that from your father and granddad. I don't know anything about it, dear. 
Of course, it was very big in New Orleans at one time, but you don't hear about it so much these days. Too much else in the world to worry about, I guess. Tell me about yourself. Me? Oh, surely you have something more interesting to talk about. Mm. Oh, come on. Mm, no, nah, not really. All right, dear. What do you want to hear? Oh, man. All right. Well, I do want to go through all this because you never know what will open up what. You know how I love to knit and work in my garden. I also take long walks. It's the only way to keep an old body like mine from stiffening up. That's what she said. Or, uh, uh. Oh, don't be foolish. I'm older than the hills. Tell me about before you met Granddaddy. Well, you know I was born Rebecca Wright. My dad Night, was right. uh -huh. on land outside of town. Peas, corn, cotton, all kinds of things. It was a good childhood. But my father was very strict. He didn't much let me out of his sight. Tell me how you met Granddaddy. Sorry if this is boring, folks. But if you've never seen it before, it could be some good insight into the game. A big fella named Reverend Jim. I even he was a reverend. Come to me to find your way. Your granddad was sitting right behind me and my girlfriend Alma. And at one point, old Reverend Jim was flinging his hair around with his fire and brimstone annex, and a piece of it, one of those small add-on dues for the band, went flying off. I swear, Harrison and I were the only ones that noticed. We both started laughing to beat the band. Everyone looked at us like we were a couple of loonies. It was then I knew that it was me. Wait, that was it? Wow, life was simpler. How you feeling these days? Fit as a fiddle, and don't you worry your head about it. Just tell me anything at all. I had your father when I was 22. The doctors told me I couldn't have any more after him, so I'm afraid I spoiled him rotten. Alright, that's enough. Oh, nothing, never mind. Alright, dear. Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your, uh, dad, your father or your mother? Um let's hear about Tell me something about Granddad. Your granddad immigrated to America when he was twenty one. He worked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father Philip. Alright. Tell me about my father. Your father was my only child. How we adored him. Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. They were two peas in a pod. Yeah, good thing I don't suffer from nightmares. That might be a little bit coincidental. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of course. But I also think she liked defying her family. Since you're so hmm. interested in family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number One and visit the family tomb? It would be a sweet gesture. Maybe I will. Interesting. All right. You know, you get prettier every time I see you. <laughs> Could you say it with any more enthusiasm? You know. You get prettier every time I see you. Yeah. Alright. Let us... You know what? That looks like something that can be picked up. But uh, let us cut the video off here for now. And uh, we'll come back to it. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you tune in the next ones. Thanks for watching, folks.